Hello, one and all. Uh, I know last week I was in a very different place than I am this week, that's for sure. Um, that depression that I had, uh, it knocked me off my feet for, oh, five or six days. So the worst of the depression, the part that absolutely, like I was just curled up on my couch with my dogs, um, watching Stargate and doing absolutely nothing unless I absolutely had to do it. Um, that, that's a quarter of my month. You know, it's a 52nd of my year, just this one time. And this is a cyclical thing for me. So it happens every few months, sometimes. Uh, sometimes it only happens once a year. Sometimes it happens three times a month. Uh, <laughs> there is no real rhyme or reason to it. But this is what depression does to you. It quite literally takes you completely outside yourself and out of commission for at least a few days. Uh, and that can be really difficult to come back from. Uh, in a healthy and helpful fashion, especially if you are working, if you have children you take care of, uh, if you are self-employed. I don't know anybody who's self-employed that can afford to take a week off just because they don't feel like it. Uh, it doesn't work that way. So it's, it's a difficult and complex thing to really talk about. I just wanted you to know that I'm feeling better. <laughs> Yay! So, yeah... Thanks to the, the understanding and support of the people who are close to me and my willingness to share what my disorder is all about and how it works and stuff. Sorry, we have a little puppy dog who's who's walking by us here, wanting to say hello. <laughs> um, it has an awful lot to do with my willingness to share exactly what I'm thinking and feeling, not just with you my audience, but also with the people who are around me the most, the people who affect my day-to-day -day decision making and my ability to function, uh, that type of thing. So knowing that a person is depressed, okay, what can you do about it? Well, for bipolar disorder, the best thing you can do is be patient, be supportive, be loving. Um, absolutely no spoiling. Don't give them a gift because then they won't be able to react the way you want them to react to the gift and that will compound the depression by making them feel bad for not feeling good enough. Does that make sense? I hope so. Um, presents don't help, but your presence helps. Just knowing you're there, knowing you support them, knowing, hey, if you want to take a day and curl up on the couch with the dog and watch SG-1, you go right ahead and do that. I will get you a drink. I will get you a healthy snack. Go for it, honey. Have a great day. Um, that type of thing is very good. Keeping your diet healthy during that time is also very important because your body still needs all those vitamins and nutrients. One of the worst things that happened to me, I found out that depression is caused by a lack of B12. So I started taking B12 supplements, which I ran out of, and then I got depressed. <laughs> Now, did I get depressed because I didn't have enough B12, or did I get depressed because I ran out of B12 and worried about getting depressed because I didn't have enough B12? <sighs> Mental illness sucks, and it's a spider web of what ifs, maybes, and perhapses, and all you can do is try and juggle everything. It's like juggling 15,000 balls at once. You're going to drop a couple. It's going to happen. Now, how you cope with the drop balls, that's what makes the difference. Not the fact that you drop them. That's fine. You go ahead and drop them. You're human. You can only do so much at a time. But coping with the drops, that's the important part. You need to not blame yourself. If you have a mental illness and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, like you're seeing your therapist, you're seeing your psychiatrist, you're taking your medication, you're getting enough sleep, you're trying to eat healthy, and you still get depressed, you it's a condition. You know, it's like a diabetic being thirsty. It's it's part of their condition. That That's all it is. And it's not going to go away. All you can do is cope with it the best you can. So, <sighs> having said all of that, last week I vegged out on the couch for three days, eating a lot of chocolate and doing a lot of nothing. Um, and I do feel bad and I do feel guilty for that because I also didn't get a lot of my schoolwork done and I didn't do a lot of parenting stuff and... You know, I have to deal with the shame and the guilt that comes along with not performing my basic duties. Uh, and those duties are assigned to me by me. <laughs> so it's my own fault. <laughs> oh, everything's a ruddy catch-22. Anyways, this is about all I can say for today. So, take care, everybody. Take care of yourselves and each other.